Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. I got these emails coming in. Hot emails. Hot. They hot, hot. The drums hot. It's hot, hot off the press. Spicy, caliente emails. All right, let's get into it. I'm seriously working on my credit. I want to know if I send them on dispute letters, all right, get a response within 30 days. Should I send my next round right away? Do I have to respond back exactly in 30 days? It's most optimal to do so. It's helpful. But if for some reason you need to take a moment, a breath, a minute, like you're saying you want to apply, this person said they want to apply for maybe a car or an apartment, you could do so, all right? And you can come back to it. This, uh, this uh, other question they have is, do I have to wait 30 days to respond? See, I got all excited about that. Wait! Do I have to wait 30 days uh, to get to send out my letter if I get a response back? So let's say I send a letter to TransUnion, Ecofax, Experian. It's been about, you know, 20 days, but they respond back with items that have been deleted and other things that quote unquote might still be there and verified. Can I send my second round of letters even though it hasn't been 30 days, but TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian responding? Yes, you can send your next round, absolutely. If they send you a response within that 30 day window, right, you can send your next response. It is most optimal to continue on that path, but if for some reason you gotta take a minute, take a break, there's plenty of uh, opportunity to come back to your credit repair. Remember, credit repair starts when? It starts now. 609creditrepair.com or we can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.